in a recent video, I was melting pennies for bare zinc. Now I drop the copper scrap into a 50 milliliter breaker full of water. That water evaporated while I was just sitting for it to be cleaned out. And I realized that there was a white powdery substance left behind. And I realized it must have been zinc oxide because all the all of the elements were there. The oxygen from the flame and obviously the zinc. So I'm just going to fill this up with water and try to wash it out. So now that my beaker was full of water, I kind of just stirred it around. Tried to wash off the white powder. After mixing thoroughly, again, up your <clears throat> uh, zinc slash copper slag into a container. So after removing the majority of the slag, you can still see there's quite a bit of few small pieces left inside the solution. Obviously, I'm not going to have very much zinc oxide left, but since it's fairly insoluble in water, I'm just going to decant the fluid. I may have lost a few, maybe milligrams of zinc oxide, but I don't think it's too bad. I waited till there was only a little bit of the water left in the solution, and then I could somewhat pick out the copper pieces. I removed as much as I could and decanted the fluid that remained. As you can see, there's still some fluid left on the bottom of the beaker, and still some copper. As you might be able to tell, I have absolutely no idea to what to do right now. So I believe I'm going to add some white distilled vinegar, or 5% acetic acid, to the solution. And try to dissolve as much zinc oxide as I can. And it won't dissolve copper. So to the beaker I added 5% acetic acid. I then st swirled it up. And you can see all that is left is the copper metal. And I will just simply decant the fluid. So copper metal seeped through during that, so I decided to put it back in the beaker and stack a few tissue papers on top of each other and filter it instead. Here you can see the copper metal is left on the filter paper and the solution drips down. Next up, um, you can see our solution is free of copper, and we can let it evaporate. And so while waiting for that to evaporate, I rinsed out these things, and I can just put them back here and let those the water evaporate and dry those out. That's kind of how I usually clean my stuff. There's not too much vinegar. I hope it doesn't take too long to evaporate, or else I might just simply put it on the stove if it doesn't make too much progress. So it looks like we have around 25 milliliters if I'm reading this right. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just remember that it's at this mark and see how much progress it's made to mine. Uh, so the boiling point of vinegar or acetic acid is around 244 degrees Fahrenheit. So not too much further than water, but it might take a little longer. So after two microwave runs, here's the beaker, and you can see there's barely any zinc oxide left, but you can still see there is some. That's okay, because this is more proof of concept than to try to get the chemical from it. But as you can see, most of the zinc oxide was degraded by the acid, 